Thank you. Um, thanks everyone for coming along today. It's amazing to see so many people here and um, for, for allowing me to um, make this announcement. Um, that I'm retiring from netball um, at all levels today. <laughs> That's really hard to say, in fact, and it's been a really, really tough decision because there is a huge part of me who th that wants to keep playing and I've loved so much the time that I've spent in an elite team environment and, you know, ever since I moved out of home when I was a 16-year-old, I moved to Melbourne and have chased my netball dream and... Um, I've kind of I've lived the life of an elite athlete, which can be selfish um, a lot of times. And I think now I've decided that the time is right to change the focus and move on to some other, hopefully, really exciting and wonderful things. Um, I've been so lucky over the course of my career to have experienced some wonderful things, uh, to have had some really great success, and more importantly to have been able to share those things with some incredible people, some inspiring people and people who have really shaped who I am as a person and have really shaped um, what I've been able to achieve throughout my career. Um, but I think you know, I would love that to I would love that to continue forever. I think I'd be a 70-year-old woman sitting here, <laughs> wishing that I was still out there playing and believing that I could still do it. And I'm, I'm sure that that will continue um, forever for me. But um, the reality is that both my mind and my body, um, are firstly not able, but more importantly, probably not willing to commit the time and put in the the effort and the passion that, that goes along with playing at this level. So, um, you know, the, the time's right. I've, I've had so much support and I'll just take a little bit of time to, to say thank you to everyone who's been a part of my journey um, in playing netball. Um, netball Victoria, obviously. Um, I, I've been a part of the program since I was 13 or 14 years old and I've had so much support right throughout that time, particularly this year, I've got to say, it was challenging in a lot of ways. And to Simone and Jen and Steve Hawkins in particular, thank you to you guys so much for um, allowing me um, the challenge of coming back this season um, and you know achieving kind of another thing in, in playing as a mum. Um, to Netball Australia, to Kate and, and everyone there, and to Lisa, um, it's it, the support I've been given from uh, Netball Australia too has been wonderful. I don't like to single people out, but I'm just going to mention a couple because I feel like there has been a few that have played a really important part. And um, from an, from a Diamonds point of view, Nicole Cusack was um, a huge influence on me right um, from when I first made the team, and she was still there. She was so welcoming and that was, it was wonderful. And Kath Cox and Liz Ellis, um, both of those two athletes I've been pretty much my whole career with and had lots and lots of fun with and achieved some wonderful successes with them. And <clears throat> from a club point of view, Joyce Brown has been someone who I've felt incredibly lucky and blessed to have had a part of my life, both on the court and off the court. Um, she's been a huge influence over me. And Bianca and Natasha Chocolate, uh, two of my closest friends. Um, as I said, it's hard to single people out, but I, I certainly um, love you guys. Um, and obviously our relationship will continue anyway. But um, yeah, I, and I think over the last few weeks in particular, I've, I've realised probably that this, the journey that I've been on has brought me personally so much excitement and joy and enjoyment but it's I've realized more now that it's it's other people that have had joy brought to them throughout my netball career with family and the netball world and so that's why I think the decision has been so tough for me and it has I've agonized over it um, because I do know that this is not just a decision for me. It's not just me stepping away from it. It's my family stepping away from it. It's my close friends stepping away from it. And um, that's, that's hard because I, 
um, you know, I, I feel that. I really feel that and I felt the love and support that I've had from so many people. So um, that's why it's been hard to... I guess the next kind of steps for me... Um, I'm still definitely going to be involved in netball. You're not going to get rid of me that easily.